Hi guys, welcome to Bio 124. Today we're gonna to be showing you guys how to do a simple stain. Since we are using a Bunsen burner, make sure that you put your safety goggles on. I am also gonna be using gloves since I don't wanna contaminate the slide with my own bacteria and stain that instead of the actual bacteria we're working with. So make sure that you label your slide. Make sure you do it on the opposite side of where you're going to place your bacteria. Then you're gonna put a little dot of water If you do put too much water, you could um, clean it up with a, with a little paper towel. Next, I'm going to be obtaining the bacteria. In order to do that, I'm going to um, burn my loop in order to sterilize it before obtaining the bacteria. Once my loop has cooled down, I'm going to obtain a little bit of bacteria and then I'm going to smear it onto that little drop of water we placed on our slide prior to getting the bacteria. Next, you're going to wait for the slide to dry with the bacteria on it, hence to why you want to have a small drop of water because the bigger the drop, the longer it'll take to dry. Once you're done doing that, make sure that you heat your loop again to sterilize it and you don't contaminate your bench and other people. Once your slide is all dried up, you're going to place a clip on the slide and then you're going to be using methyl blue as your stain. You're first going to need to heat fix it. In order to do that, you're going to pass it through the Bunsen burner three times. Next, you're going to put the stain on top of your bacteria and you're going to let that sit on there for one minute. Next, you're going to be using DI water to rinse your slide. Make sure you rinse it thoroughly, making sure that there's no more stain left behind. And also be 100% sure that you are using DI water. You do not want to use sink water. Once you are done rinsing your slide, you can either let it air dry or you can use bibulous paper to dry it. You just put it between the sheets and you can just press down softly so that you don't break the slide and that will dry your slide. Once your slide is all clean, you will be able to put it underneath a microscope and be able to see what you stained. Um, you can get specific instructions on how to use a microscope from your instructor. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you found this helpful. Thank you.